いくぞSee this one from the same person, Sen. Your FF job sucks. Your FF job sucks. <gasps> He's talking about my ninja sucking? You better not! This video is a joke, it's only meant to be taken as a joke. Yeah, yeah, else so most things said in this video are complete bullshit. Every job in this game is good and viable. I agree. Every single job in Endwalker sucks, and I definitely know what I'm talking about because I definitely leveled every single job to 90. <laughs> so I speak nothing but facts, and if you disagree with me, you're just bad at the game. Okay! Red placement shares Rodium. the same potency as engagement. Red Mage no longer have a reason to backflip. Which is unfortunate, because that was the only reason why you would play Red Mage instead of Summoner. Sure, Red Mage <laughs> can help healers recover faster in prog, <laughs> but honestly, it is overrated after prog. Because its DPS is average at best. Oh my god, stop. <laughs> you think just because this is God's main job means I can't say anything bad about it? Well, guess what? Even with the new transpose tech, this job still cannot make it to the top three DPS. <laughs> oh shit, he just fucking roasted the shit out of every BLM player to ever exist. Damn! Even with the new transpose tech, this job still cannot make it to the top three DPS. How to take that Imagine doing less DPS than Monk on a Black Mage. I would have adjusted for you, if you were actually worth adjusting for. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! He just fucking roasted the shit out of every BLM player! Oh my god! <laughs> that is the sound of summoners crying about how their job turned into a physical range in Endwalker. When in reality, it was a physical range ever since Shadowbringers. And yes, Red Mage is better than you in every single way. But don't worry, maybe after a few buffs, you guys will finally be able to compete with Bard. Oh my god! You guys will finally be able to compete with Bard. Dude, holy shit! Oh my god, I'm scared. What's he gonna say about Ninja, bro? This is content. I was going to talk about how abilities no longer proc from Doptics and how bar dots are now as meaningless as this video. But instead, I will play you a song to describe how scuffed your job is. <laughs> uh. <laughs> That's a bar. Every bar player. Scuff. Someone's got to be at the bottom of the DPS chart. Rip machinist. Like machinist got the short end of the stick. I feel bad for him. <laughs> Imagine not having raid buffs while also not having enough damage to make up for it. <laughs> machinist always thinks they're so cool because they have a gun, but in reality, they're just a lamer version of the other class with a gun. Gunbreaker. <laughs> Dance partner? More like death partner. Don't try to pretend like the dance partner curse doesn't exist. It is a known fact that anyone who gets dance partner will die at least twice in PF. Dance around every other DPS job that nothing is free, and those who want a damage boost must pay the price with death. However, this curse does not affect your dreams, because they're probably already dead. <laughs> Remember, Dragoons, you cannot DPS when you are dead. <laughs> Just roasting Dragoon. Dragoon's and off the arena has never been more responsive. Watch out, Dragoon. Reaper is <laughs> on its way to take your spot as the job was the highest casualties near war. Dude! Dude, this is Shiryu! <laughs> that was Shiryu! What he. Dude, before we played the pool, he backstabbed. <laughs> this is literally Shiryu! Also what happened with him today, dude? That shit was funny. GCD that does literally nothing but make you do 10% more damage every 30 seconds is very skill intensive. I cannot imagine how boring this job would feel without this highly interactive element of gameplay. <laughs> I'm not going to call anyone a weep. That's just a given. However, as a samurai player, don't think that you're any more special than Black Mage just because you have a body pillow. While you're busy making your stretchy rotations, Monk and Reaper are doing more DPS than you. How does it feel to be inferior again? <laughs> Damn. Now, this job is actually good. The player population can almost hit double digits. However, Monk's entire job identity was about how scuffed it could be. Many former Monk mains left.
because there were masochists who wanted to play a job as positionals on all GCDs, while being unable to double weave without perfect peen. But don't worry, because sooner or later, the deaf team will return the job to its former glory, because scuffing monk is just a tradition at this point. <laughs> the trick that I meant ninja used to be a relevant job because everyone wanted their one minute debuff. However, now that almost all the ray buffs in the game line up at two minutes, ninja is completely forgotten. Every other minute, the entire party just pretends that trick attack isn't even there. And the only thing that is more sad than having trick attack ignored is accidentally using your burst on your trick attack when you could have saved it for the two minute buffs. Okay, dude. So what you guys think of me now, huh? Is this what you guys think of me now? I I am I am only there for your trick attack, huh? You guys know I'm a whole class, right? You you guys know I'm a whole job. I got my eyes on you. What's 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 your name again, mister? Sen? Sen? Look at me. Look at me right now, Sen. I got my eyes on you, Sen. Wanna fuck with me? Got my eyes on you, Sen. I got my eyes on you. Trick that I meant ninja. Used to be. <laughs> Alright, good one, dude. Let me read the text here. Notice how Shadow Bingo was used here when it could have been saved for the two minutes buff, resulting in a small DPS loss. My tricky, tricky, dude. You could have saved it for the two minute buffs. Don't listen to you play trick at I see how it is. I see how it is. I see how it is. I play trick attack very well, huh? I see how it is. Shadowbringers, the lilies actually mattered because of anything. They were a DPS game when you were using the size. My tricky. I sorry. Let me go rewind my now. Backing Shadowbringers, the lilies actually mattered because of anything. They were a DPS game when you were using a size and when you were forced to use them for movement. But now that healer's main damage CCDs are all 1.5 seconds, instead of giving White Mage more mobility, it completely defeated the purpose of using lilies. Especially how much of a DPS loss even a single lily would cost you. I don't have no idea what this is. From success, but White Mage's MP economy would say otherwise. Oh, sheesh. Now that pet AI is only kind of shit, combined with a universal healer damaging GCP Scholar. change from 2.5 second cast time to 1.5 seconds, Scholar is actually both fun to play and very intuitive. Its old weakness of losing DPS as a result of weaving using Rune 2 is completely gone. While Rune 2 still offers amazing mobility in Prog compared to the other healers. It has a healing toolkit that can handle almost every situation in the game, as long as you properly plan ahead. Expedient is also one of the most useful prog abilities in the game, but still has a functioning optimization. All of this just makes Scholar the best shield healer. If Sage didn't exist. Damn! Get fucked on! <laughs> If Sage didn't exist. <laughs> Damn. Sage is so strong in so many ways. Despite it not offering the highest RDPS out of all the healers, its healing kit is extremely versatile. But then there is Lygma requiring near melee range to be used. So now healer melee uptime is real. I hope all the sick fucks asking for a melee healer are happy. Because when my Sage dies <laughs> from greeting for an extra Phlegma in the fight, by gat closing to the goddamn boss like an idiot before it is saved, <laughs> it is your fault. <laughs> now you have to why is Sage better than Scholar? Because you can do this with Icarus. Oh my god! What the hell did he just do? Did he swap places with him? Can you do that on Sage? Oh shit, Astro. Astrologian players are all gacha game addicts who think that getting screwed over by crit RNG isn't already a pain in the ass. Optimization on Astro is like letting RNGesus decide how many pulls to He rescued the- Oh my god, he fucked him over! <laughs> getting the SSR King parse. However, now that redraw can only be used once per card, they can't even wail to reroll the gacha. If the party has triple range, you better hope there is a pity system. <laughs> no melee cards. For some reason that only God himself knows, Gunbreaker's Gun biggest Breaker. burst is at 3 minutes when almost every other job in the game is streamlined to a 2 minute burst window. I guess 3 continuations during burst windows wasn't enough for Carpal Tunnel, so to make sure that you <laughs> can pick up your hands the next day, they gave Gunbreaker 7 continuations during their three minute burst. Hell yeah. Because why make a single GCD deal more damage when you can just make a GCD and an OGCD deal the same amount of damage as a single GCD? 
Oh, wow, really? Inner Chaos does the same damage as Burst Strike and a Hyper. Eh, fuck it. Gunbreaker's fun! Paladin being the poster boy of this expansion meant it was doomed from the beginning. The new <laughs> unlimited blade work combo must be used after Confidier, taking away the flexibility Shadowbringer's Paladin had when it came to GCD manipulation. Atonement is so useless now that it became the new Holy Spirit, and dropping one every minute results in a DPS gain. Hollowed Ground is still on a 7 minute cooldown, making it probably the second worst Ingvall in the game. <laughs> now that Super Bullet and Home Game got buffed, Divine Veil still sucks compared to Shake It Off. Not to mention its abysmal damage and how the dev team completely forgot about it in Patches. Damn! Six damn! Perhaps it is time to go play Warrior. Oh shit! He just stole Paladin war players to just play Warrior. <laughs> Get fucking roasted! <laughs> Yo, this guy- Dude, this guy is content. This guy is content. I'm subbing to him. It's actually pretty cool. It has everything that a good tank should have. Sub this guy is so content. Warrior is actually pretty cool. It has everything that a good tank should have. Self-sustain, good mitigation and heals for itself and the party, decent damage, and one of the best ingvons in the game. Its rotation now flows extremely well and lines up perfectly into buff windows. Which is ironic because it still cannot take advantage of crit buffs and direct hit buffs. And it still cannot melt direct hit. If inner release is what makes warrior, it is also what breaks warrior. Huh. I don't know much about warrior and dark, dark knight. Talking shit about dark knight. I feel like if I said anything more, it would just be bullying. Which is why I'm going to say something nice about dark knight. If there is anything worth playing Dark Knight for, it would be how Dark Knight teaches you to appreciate the self-sustain that Warrior has, the risk-free defensive resources that Gunbreaker has, and the utility that Paladin brings. This job will make you grateful for the little things in your job that you have always taken for granted, and constantly remind you Aww. how fortunate you are to play a job where your AoE ability isn't a DPS loss on less than 4 enemies. Thank you, Dark Knight, for taking one for the team. <laughs> now get the fuck out of my head. <laughs> Bro, what? This guy is great. This guy is great. Sen? He's only got 746 subs, by the way, guys. What the fuck? This guy makes hella content. Hey, this guy's sick. This guy's sick. I love his videos. I think they're really good. Wow. He's awesome. Check this guy out. Sen. That was good. <laughs> nice fucking video, dude. Oh, uh, that was good. Uh, that was so good. <laughs> Ooh, get the fuck out of my PF. I don't want these dark nights. Oh, man. When he talked about Nin, bro. That got me. Let me look at that again. Trick that I meant ninja used to be a relevant job because everyone wanted their one minute debuff. However, now that almost all the ray buffs in the game line up at 2 minutes, Ninja is completely forgotten. Every other minute, the entire party just pretends that Trick Attack isn't even there. <laughs> and the only thing that is more sad than having Trick Attack ignored is accidentally using your burst under Trick Attack when you could have saved it for the 2 minute buffs. <laughs> Why use my burst for the first Trick Attack when I can get the 120 second buffs. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, you got me, man. You fucking got me there. We'll just pretend the first trick doesn't exist, you know? <laughs> okay, good one, good one, dude. Good one, dude. Very funny, very funny. Damn, he just talked shit about my tricks so hard. This only applies to builds such as Dark Knight. Shadowbringer, which you gain one stack per minute, can stack up to two stack. If your build is on a six second CD without any stacks, please use it under Trick Attack. There you go.